If you want to see more of my whole journey on a motorbike in Africa, please share and subscribe for the next episodes. It's a lot of editing work and I need at least a thousand subscribers so I can release a new video every week. If you have any questions about my trip, please leave a comment below. Having left the rainy season behind, I entered Botswana, a huge country of open spaces and where together with Tanzania I would find the wildest and most imposing nature of the entire journey. One cannot stop on these lanes because they serve as S-trip if necessary. This is due to the remoteness of the country and how relatively depopulated it is. Botswana was the second great challenge of the trip because I would have to cross another national park, but here the roads are excellent and on each side the brushwood was cleared several meters, allowing great visibility. Even so, wildlife is all around at all times and that's something I will have more than one occasion to realize later. Here better to keep the distance. In the middle of the national park there was only one place to stay near which there is a waterhole where wild animals come to drink, giraffes, lions or elephants among others. I camped next to that bush looking for shade and soon a man came to let me know that it would be better to change the place because cobras are usually found under that tree. Yeah. I changed location but it was difficult to fall asleep wondering how resistant or not would be my tent to the blow of a lion hanging around or a poisonous snake crawling under it. As I moved south the countries were increasingly developed, the roads better and reaching my goal in South Africa was closer. Now we are going to visit a typical lodge in Botswana from where safaris also depart. Although the site was quite expensive, about 100 euros per night for one of these bungalows, the more developed the country the better the value for money. Here one could enjoy magnificent facilities simply by camping for an almost ridiculous price of 8 euros. These are the camping facilities. The bathrooms on one side and the showers on the other. And here the camping site. These South African guys working in Botswana and living in the campsite invited me to a dry, the typical South African barbecue. I could taste my final destination closer and closer.